A quick Monday night look at the weather around the southeastern U.S. and it has certainly been a hot day around most of the region. Didn't get quite as hot on Monday as it did on Sunday though. Our forecast from a week ago looking forward to today Monday was 94 so within what six days we were off by one degree. That's that's not too shabby. Sometimes I think though that we may forget just a little bit about how forecasting really works. So a weather forecast is especially for seven days out is a little bit less like oh say Trent Dilford dropping a dime in the Super Bowl just like that one and it going in for a touchdown and it's uh, maybe just a little bit more like oh say a 66 yard field goal attempt like this one the NFL record from the uh, Baltimore Ravens and the Detroit Lions a uh, while back. Uh, watch that thing. Bounce right off the crossbar and in. And sometimes a forecast might not be perfect, but it's good because it gets the message out. We forecast scattered showers and thunderstorms. We got scattered showers and thunderstorms. We were up to 95 degrees on Sunday and 93 on Monday, and we are going higher than that, folks. It's uh, looking like a very hot week ahead. So we talked about this a little bit last week, and I was off for a few days, taking a little bit of rest after a very active, a very active severe weather season here in the early part of summer, which is not all that uh, common for us, but that's been the pattern so far. This is the temperature at roughly 850 millibars. And the reason that we can look at this is because if you take the air at 850 millibars, which is about 5,000 feet up, and you drop it to the surface, if we mix the atmosphere or turn it over up to 5,000 feet, which is pretty common this time of year, especially with the breeze, this will give you a pretty good estimation of how high the temperature is going to get. So if you know anything about meteorology, we're essentially just warming it adiabatically. And if you don't know what that means, it just means that we're literally just using the physical properties of the air and squeezing it down to size as we drop it down closer to the surface. So on Wednesday, an 850 temperature of 21C, 21 degrees Celsius, easily mid-90s. Watch this, though. It gets hotter. Uh, we're talking an 850 temp on Thursday of 23 Celsius, maybe even 24 or 25 in parts of the south. Now, what does that really mean? Well, let's look at it uh, from a couple of different perspectives. First of all, I think it means something kind of like this right here. The sun attacking Mario and Super Mario 3. If you don't think that's funny, I don't think we can be friends. Uh, here's, here's the real deal, though. Uh, this is the 850 millibar temperature from the GFS computer model at um, 21Z Friday. So that's 4 p.m. on Friday. And it's projecting 25 in Birmingham. Now, for reference, the last time we had a temperature at 850 millibars that high was way back in 2012. June of 2012, we hit 104 degrees. We haven't done it since, and we had not had one before that level, uh, before that, uh, uh, up to that level, prior to that, since 1994. So this is the sounding climatology for Birmingham. Now that doesn't include Huntsville or Jackson or Atlanta. We're focused on Birmingham because you can really only look at this from one spot at a time and pinpoint where the worst of the heat's gonna be. So when you see something like this, you start to flip back in the record books and you say, okay, well, so if that's what happened in 2012, what was the air temperature back then? And that's where we start to look for things that look like this in our seven-day forecast. 95 on Tuesday, 95 on Wednesday, 101 on Thursday, uh, and then even um, 103 possibly by Friday, 100 on Saturday. So what's the deal here? Well, first of all, we're not getting a lot of rain. There could be a few isolated showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday but really it's going to be the heat plus the humidity that makes this such an extreme event 110 the heat index projected now in hunts in uh, birmingham 111 huntsville 108 montgomery 111 tuscaloosa 109 talladega 105 gadsden now that's at 4 p.m on thursday well what about friday with the temperature getting even hotter wouldn't it make sense that the heat index is hotter not exactly 
doesn't always exactly work out that way. It depends on the humidity, the combination of the two. The heat index is the apparent temperature. No, you're not just going to walk outside and say, wow, it feels like exactly 109 degrees in Birmingham at this hour. But what you will find is that your body behaves like it's 109 degrees. It gets a little harder to breathe after exerting energy. This is serious heat, folks, and I just want you to take it as seriously as you can. Uh, even on Tuesday, the high about 95 in Birmingham. Now, notice there's a difference between Bessemer 95, Trussville 92, Sneed around 90, Tuscaloosa 95, Brent 95, Montgomery, Huntsville, low to mid 90s. Uh, maybe even a few communities in the higher elevations of east and northeast Alabama fail to make it to 90 on Tuesday. So this 95 is more of a Birmingham to Tuscaloosa to Fayette to Demopolis and Aliceville kind of deal. So think of the mid-90s from about there, and then we'll also include Montgomery westward. So across the western part of the state. Uh, in northeast Alabama, it will not be quite that significant. There's also something to look out for on Wednesday. And this particular forecast model is the graph. It's run by IBM, the weather company, uh, WSI, all of them essentially using the same data here. So at noon on Wednesday, it projects a little cluster of showers over Tennessee. Some other guidance tries to bring in a larger wave of thunderstorms in that same time frame and pull it to the southeast across western Alabama. So what would that do to temperatures? Well, I think there would be a zone right in here where we could get a brief break from the heat from Memphis to Tupelo to Columbus, maybe even Tuscaloosa. But from Birmingham eastward into this zone, we're going to find it really, really difficult to get any significant rain or thunderstorms before that peak daytime heating would potentially get us up here close to 95 degrees. As a reminder, spotty storms like this can get very strong, even though they may only be hitting or missing a few isolated places. Uh, let's look beyond that toward Saturday. A uh, better chance of an isolated storm Saturday afternoon, and then Sunday and Monday, we've got the rain chance up close to 50% both days. And now you may be asking, well, why do you just say chance? Why not thunderstorms likely? Because Sunday was a 50% roughly chance of rain, and it rained very, very hard in some places, but not in Birmingham. Not at my house in Shelby County. Uh, it, it, it just works out this way where we have widely scattered thunderstorms. So we'll call it heavy thunderstorms possible over the weekend. You notice the GFS model here try to project some heavier storms over parts of central and east Alabama Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. And then if you look closely up here to the northwest, that looks like one of those MCSs. The mesoscale convective system. It is This MCS season has been something here across the south. So it tries to bring that thing in here on Sunday, but because the grid spaces are so wide on the GFS model, think of it like that. It says data point here may not have rain. This one may, this one may, this one may. So I'm just going to paint rain everywhere. It's probably not going to be that way. Uh, then on Sunday, we heat up. We get a few more widely scattered thunderstorms. And there may be yet another round of heavy storms that blows through here Sunday evening into Sunday night. It's just a little bit too soon to know for sure. So out here in uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday land, this is the 66-yard field goal when it comes to thunderstorms. In this zone right here, this is Trent Dilforth trying to throw a touchdown pass. This is a lot more certain here in the short term than what we have out here in the long term. But regardless... It looks very hot around here for quite some time, and I don't see any big-time cool weather, no cool snaps like we had through the early part of June where we got in the 50s a couple of nights. Forget that stuff. We are hitting summer head-on here, so this is some serious kind of heat. Make sure that you are taking heed and not overexerting yourself. Heat-related disease, heat-related illness, uh, it can be a killer. So listen to your body and just take it easy in the heat.